Alright guys, welcome to Andrew Vandy Golden TV. I'm not sure if you can see me, but anyways, I pulled out my hacked memory card with free MC boot. And what I'm gonna do since I already did my Age Under Fire hack, I decided to make a tutorial on how to do it. So this is what the PS2 should look like if it is unmodded. And this is the Age Under Fire hack with already the exploit modified, and this is the DVD of the official. Um, what we need to do is we need to put some uh, uh, paper in here to make it, you know, clog and to block that sensor. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to have to put a piece of paper under here as well and, you know, do that as well. So anyways, let's get on to it. Alright guys, so this here is my PS2. I've already placed a uh, piece of paper underneath one of the sensors using this, using a pair of scissors. Uh, it's really easy to use stuff like that, like a uh, postcard. Now, for a regular piece of paper, you just want to stick it in there. Now, the only reason why I've, I'm blocking only two sensors is because I've already blocked the third sensor down below. That's what we want. So, now, the next thing that we have to do is to be able to swap out the discs. So, I'm going to grab those right now. And uh, I have both the, the, the real and the modified one using that one file using Apache. Um, I might actually include the modified game in my download description so you don't really have to worry about, you know, extracting it and burning it. So anyways, here we go. I'm going I'm to stick this in here. Uh, this uh, Asian Under Fire. And we need to be able to swap out the discs. So I'm going to put this in. Alright, so anyways guys, I decided to do something a little different. I'm going to actually go to the main menu of the whole entire game because I know that worked before me before. So anyways, for right now, I'm just going to put in my memory card since it already has free MC boot. It's already got, you know, the level already defeated for the driving level. So I'm just going to stick this in here and click retry. And it should find my file. So right now, it's actually searching for it. Found it. And right now, I'm at the main menu of the whole entire game. So I'm at where it says press start. So I'm going to press start button. And uh, this is where I'm going to swap out my game right now. I've did this before at this part and it worked for me. It may not work for anybody else. So I'm going to try it right now. Uh, right now the laser is staying at one spot. So i got to do this kind of quick. So here we go. And let's try and move the controller around. So this I just swapped out the game. This is the game right here. Let's just see if it works. Let's go to options. And I'm not seeing anything wrong going on. So uh, let's click the back button. And let's click load mission. And using my memory card slot 1. And there it is. There's this one, mission 2. Um, I want to do driving.elf. Let's just click the back button several times. Load a certain mission from memory card one. Continue. Yeah, that's the one I want. So let's just click yes. And let's just see what happens. Um, select mission. I want driving. Can't remember what it was. I think it was this one. Alright, here we go, driving. And let's start. Let's see if it works. And this is you launch Elf. Now, that's how you do it. Now, for me, it was easier doing it like that. And this is you launch Elf. And uh, I'm pretty sure you guys get the idea because my next uh, tutorial I've already made. And uh, this is it. So you get to you launch Elf. Hi guys, welcome to my tutorial of Andrew Colton TV and today we're talking about how to make your own modified Agent Under Fire disc using DVD Decryptor, Apache, and many other else softwares. So anyways, let's just get started. So the first things off, I already have my Agent Under Fire disc in my disc tray as we speak. So what I want to do is I want to scroll on down to DVD Decryptor and I want to decrypt that image. So DVD Decryptor, we're going to open that sucker up and we're going to go into mode. Go under ISO and go under read. 
Now my disk is already in, so all I have to do is locate a place to save it, and that's it. Since I already have it already saved, it's probably going to rewrite the one I already made. So we're going to decrypt and say yes to all. Now we're going to let that thing do its thing. Now, in the meantime, we need to download a, a uncompressed elf. We can do that at sksapps.com. Now this is a website I like. They have a lot of good stuff. Um, we'll just go on down. Let's go to the latest one because newer is always generally better, but older is generally more compatible. So what I want to do is I want to download the newest one. This is maybe the unofficial one, maybe not a good idea, but it's the one that I use and it worked for me. So I'm going to click this and it's already downloading. So in the meantime, we're going to open that up, show in folder, and we're going to extract it. And uh, we should get something like this. Now you should already have it uncompressed boot.elf. Now I already named mine to driving.elf. You can just right click, rename the file, and rename it driving. All capital letters, please. Now the next thing that we want to do is that after this is you know done decrypting, we want to go into start menu. But I need to locate where I saved my file, such as the Apache. Um, I'm gonna go under my D drive, and I already have it under my backups. So under here. We'll click on PS2 or under games. So games, PS2, PS2 tools. And I'm going to do another tutorial soon about how to do PS2 Linux. So anyways, this is a file that you should be downloading under my description called PS2 tools. It should be in a RAR file or maybe a website like 4Shared or whatever. So anyways, this is Apache. So we're going to double click on that. And this is it. Now, what we want to do is we go under ISO tools, actually go file. We're going to open up an ISO. Now, that's going to be our under fire game. So, open ISO. Now, mine is currently, you know, in the process of decrypting and it's almost done. So, anyways, how this all works is okay, what is an agent under agent under fire hack what is an exploit what is free mc boot well free mc boot actually allows you to play burnt games using esr now it's actually an app that you that you'd have to patch your games according to a patcher which i also have in the download description below under that same file now anyways it's it is done so we click ok button click the x button and we really don't care let's just click x x and we'll click cancel Anyways, this is Apache, so we're going to exit this, exit that as well. And in the meantime, now we have to locate my ISO. So we click the up button several times. It should be in your D drive, um, maybe in the root of your C drive. But anyways, just check to see where you saved it. And mine is actually right here. So we're going to open that file up. And uh, the way we're going to do is we're going to right, we're going to click on this, select it. And that under ISO tools, we're going to change the TOC for the selected file. So, anyways, we're going to click this and uh, see the size. It's not going to match the one that we have for driving.elf in our folder over here. Now, this is currently at a thousand, meg uh, just one megabyte, which is also a thousand kilobytes. A thousand is usually the next thing up. Such as a thousand megabytes is one gig. So, anyways, we're going to properties. And we're going to copy this size right here where it says 1075988. So we need to go over to here and we need to update that file according to its size. So I already have this thing pretty much all set up. Let's just scroll this thing over and let's move this to where I can see it easily. Let's move it right here. And I need to copy that same number over here. So I'm going to kind of move my mouse over a little bit so you guys can see what I'm typing. What I'm trying to type is this number right here. Do not add the commas because it is not necessary. So we go right here. We type in my number, which is 1075988. That's my number, and it matches. So we just click the update button. Now it changed the size of the actual file. And it's basically kind of like a dummy file, it just adds stuff in if it's too small. But anyways, this is pretty much it. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to go back into, we're going to select that same file again. We're going to go back to ISO tools. We're going to change the TOC for the selected file. Um, actually, since we just did that already, we have to go to ISO tools and update selected file. Now you want to locate that driving.l file, the one that you just created as, you know, uncompressed boot elf or whatever. 
So uh, what we want to do is go find that file. Uh, mine is currently on my downloads, I'm pretty sure, which is right here, right here, and there it is. So select that file and click open. Now the file has been replaced, it has been created, and that's it. Now you guys are probably wondering, okay, how do I save the ISO? Well, it automatically saves as is, so you don't really have to worry about file save or any of that. So you just have to hit the exit button, exit button here. That's pretty much it. Now all you have to do is locate that uh, the ISO image that you just opened up and burn it under DVD decryptor. So what I'm going to do is go under start, all apps. We're going to locate DVD decryptor. It's right here. It's I already have it installed. I'll probably include a link down in the description down below. So anyways, we're going to change this mode to ISO to write. Now find that same file and just burn it. We can do that by hitting the search folder button, such as explore. And once we find that file, here it is. Click it, click open, and then click burn. And that's pretty much it. But if you guys want a shortcut, I'm going to include a download link description down below for the modified ISO so you don't have to worry about, you know, wasting disks or anything if you mess up. So, anyways, I hope you like my tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to Andrew Vanjie Golden TV. And I'm pretty sure I need to um, re-download uh, my DVD decryptor. It's not working very well. So anyways, that's about it. So we're going to exit out of this and don't forget to subscribe. The number one thing you can do here on my channel is to subscribe. It's me and Cold Den TV